Thank you for using the SK Series Sterilizer. This video will cover its basic features, instructions for use, as well as technical and safety guidelines for the SK100. When power is first applied to the unit, the power switch will illuminate even in the off position. Before operating the SK, make sure that the drain valve is completely closed by turning it clockwise. Place the bottom plate into the chamber with the cutout aligned with the float sensor. Fill the chamber with enough water so that the float sensor reaches the top of its post, typically about 3 liters. Always use distilled water. Place the basket into the chamber and load your sample. When placing the lid, align the red arrow with the right handle. Press down and twist the lid clockwise into position. Make sure both the exhaust and safety valves are closed. When the unit is first turned on, it will display temperature inside the chamber in degrees Celsius. Press the set key to your target temperature. SP will flash to indicate that you can use the arrow keys to enter your set point temperature. Press the set key again to set your sterilization time. ST will flash similar to SP, displaying the time in minutes. Enter your sterilization time with the arrow keys. Press set to confirm your settings. Heating will begin immediately. Once the temperature reaches 100 degrees C, the pressure will start to increase. Note that the steam will slowly escape from the vent on the lid handle. Please keep clear of this vent to avoid burns. Immediately after reaching your set point temperature, the sterilization timer will begin and a countdown will appear on the screen. When the sterilization cycle completes, the screen will flash end and the end cycle alarm will sound. To quickly release the pressure and accelerate the cool down process, carefully release the exhaust valve while wearing heat resistant gloves. Turn the unit off and let it cool down to approximately 40 degrees Celsius before removing the lid. To properly remove the lid, twist counterclockwise and lift the far side up. This protects your arms and face from escaping steam. Wear protective gloves when removing the basket from the chamber as the basket and its handles will remain hot after the chamber has cooled down. Have a drain pan ready and drain the excess water from the chamber by opening the drain valve. Use caution as the water may still be hot. 